Wow. Um, it's uh, less than 24 hours since I done my last video regarding the extraordinary events which have occurred in the UK and in America over the last two weeks. And now we've got an additional very sad one in what's going on in Stockport. Well, I'm in London. I don't know much about Stockport. This is what I do know from Stockport. Apparently, Stockport is a Victorian seaside town up north. Fine. The British Commissioner has said that an assailant from Wales has attacked 11 people and murdered two children. And a number of other children have been badly injured. This is what I've been told by the Police Commissioner. Radio 4 in the meantime, have been very concerned about rumour control flying around in social media and has not named the attacker, but only described him as a boy, a 17-year-old boy. Fine. And then we've heard platitudes from the Home Secretary, Yvette Cooper, and Keir Starmer, uh, platitudes of my thoughts are with the families, the friends. Okay, fine. But then uh, digging under the surface a little bit more, and we hear from uh, a tweet and a post, I believe by uh, Tommy Robinson, that the assailant was a 17 year old Syrian refugee who was on MI6 uh, watch list and apparently had recorded mental health uh, issues, possibly PSD, who knows. Now, there's not much really to go you know, for me to comment on this other than an observation, a cold observation. So we're talking a few weeks ago at Hare, Hare Hills, the uh, social services took away some children from a family. And that caused a massive riot in Hare Hills. Massive riot. And then there was another riot in Hare Hills. And then the social services gave back the children to the family. We've all seen the footage, footage two of the Manchester, uh, sort of Malay at Manchester Airport the police and the Asian family, which resulted in the police officer who was attacked from behind, but then retaliated by kicking an Asian chap in the head, stamped on the, stamped on the head. Um, it resulted in him uh, being arrested and possibly prosecuted for his actions. And that was not before there was massive protests outside Rochdale police station. So what do you think has been the response of the British public on the murder of two children and eight other children? What's the response? Crickets. This is it. Our tolerance is very high. We turn the other cheek. Yeah. It was only on the weekend, Saturday, that there was a march in regards to British values and the support of British values, which went by without no trouble really at all, considering the numbers. You need to be a little bit more muscular in this. I want you to think, and I want you to imagine for one second, that a British 18-year-old do such a despicable thing in an Asian nursery. What do you think would be the response? Just what would be the response? What would be the response by the local community? What would be the response by the British establishment? I'm not advocating violence. I'm just observing how we as a community respond to these things. It seems like there's a suppression of the facts 
and also a a numbing, a numbing, uh, a zero response will come by. You've got to get a little bit more mus muscular in this. Look, uh, these are just my thoughts, really. If you've got any points of view, please put them in comments. Let's see if you actually see this video.